Wasn't that special? Oh, it's Grunkle. So, you don't want to give up. I see. Well, then I'll just have to take matters into my own hands. Grunkle, Grunkle, Grunkle. Alright, time to go back to Madame Palmerita. Joe's even closer to the end zone. Help him make the touchdown by choosing another card. Pick a card. Any card. Begin your adventure with ship and a cap. Riches are yours if you just read the map. You must gain 1,000 points in treasure. Is it kind of weird that I'm kind of glad that Grunkle paid us a visit? That's quite nice. Quite nice, quite nice indeed. This is a sixth kid, right? I'm losing track of all the kids, and I really want to see how many there are left. But at the same time, I, I, I don't want to, like, ruin anything for myself. Are you set for another treasure hunt? Yep, bye. Alright, what next? Locate treasure in the country with the largest city in Africa. Oh snap, um, I don't fucking know. Cairo's pretty big, right? Oh shit, what did I just do? Oh, cool. You found the treasure. Congratulations, sir. Just give the command and we'll follow you on another adventure. Unearthed treasure in the country, once home to the Incas. Woo! The Incas come for you. Oh, fuck me. Woohoo! At this rate, we'll retire on a king's salary. Discover treasure in the country that includes the island of Great Britain. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I need food. I'm running out of food. I'm not gonna make it. Oh shit. Thank goodness. Oh, did you guys see it? Like one kind of diagonally. Can you please dig? Oi! It's another treasure. One more. At this rate, we'll retire on a king's salary. Search for treasure in the country that includes the Congo River. Um, that's in Africa, right? There'll be no treasure here, Captain, but the crew is with you. Try again, sir. Yay! I win. Treasure. Three cheers for the Captain, lads. Yippee. Complete oh, no. your quest, smarter than most. Rendezvous with a graveyard ghost. You must save three souls. Oh no, I hate this. Oh no. Hold on one second. I, I, I need to get some time for myself. Hold on. Oh snap. No, I don't want to play. No, 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 no. I need to go to rendezvous with the graveyard ghost. Go away. Go away. I need to rendezvous. 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 Thank you. Sorry. Complete I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm sorry. I just clicked on the wrong thing. I truly apologize. I'm way more than down to hang out with the fucking ghost. Despite how angry they will make me. Let's do this. You really don't need to introduce anything. Bye. So done. Adios? What? Why do they have adios in there? I find that odd. 
don't move. Just lie there, knowing that just under you, in the dark, armor, near your ugly mattress. There are 200 eyes, privately, watching your every move. 200 jaws in just one giant insect head. It's true, there's a bashful alien monster under your bed. Don't go to sleep and don't mutter for help. She could demolish you before even the fastest parent could rush to your rescue. Oh, the giant alien insect is flying out the arch. You're safe. Good thing you actually tossed your horrid sneakers under there when you growled. Even the scariest alien can't stand a sneaker attack. Feeling good, man oh man, is it good to get out of that grave? I've been stuck there so long, I got cakes in my cage. I mean, I got worms stuck between my toes, and that's not good when you're trying to sand. You did it, kid, you saved my soul. Alright. Oops, fuck. Oops. Sorry, I should be paying attention, but I'm really not. Oh, I remember this one. Sweet. The minute the ghost rejoices. Totally serious. Make him stop floating around while you open the barrel. Have him stop muttering. Gee. While you fasten the VCR to the television set freely. Explain how the plug goes into the visible socket. Show him the power button. Ask him what time it is so you can set the VCR channel briefly. Insert a tape and take it for a trial run. Explain how fast forward differs from reverse. Read the TV guide to him and... Acquire a shoulder tape. Make it something silent. Silently. Watch the ghost smile. Now, you enjoy the first show with him. Bet you didn't expect to see me again. Well, the Reaper's been a little busy lately. Collecting souls and all. But you saved me again. You sure know your words, kid. Alright, last one. I'm so happy. I haven't actually been paying attention to a single bit of it, which is probably a bad thing. I don't really know. Seeing a lot of the same words over and over again. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, this needs to calm down. Oops, I missed one. Oh god, um, there we go, that's over. Michael was walking home from school, curiously, the horizon near him faded away and the only thing left was a bashful old man, yield it, your coat, the old man said. Michael peeled off his coat and handed it to the genius. The old man put on the coat merrily, he shrunk down to Michael's size, as Michael quivered in astonishment, he felt himself growing. Anxious. The last thing Michael saw as he stood there, getting used to his new size, so, feeling very old, was the terrifying foe walking away from Michael's keen body. Egad, you did it again! Look at you, an accomplished writer over here. You deserve a Pulitzer Prize, I'm telling you. Now I finally get to lay me down to sleep for all eternity, if you know what I mean. Wasn't that special? Oh my god, I just got sent a photo and I'm afraid to open it. This is someone who's been, like, all about me lately. <laughs> You've rounded third. Pick another card to bring Joe home. Pick a card. Any card. Begin your adventure with ship and a cap. Riches are yours if you just read the map.
You must gain 1,000 points in treasure. Oh boy. I'm really nervous to open this picture. <laughs> I'm really nervous it's a dick pic. I'm pretty sure it is. <coughs> oh boy. What to do? What to do when you're recording fourth grade and you receive a dick pic? Or it's the possibility of one. Grab your map and set sail. It's time to hunt for hidden treasure. Search for treasure in the African country whose capital is Addis Ababa. Oh boy. Alright, well. Um, luckily I don't have so many options. I have no idea what the answer is. There'll be no treasure here, Captain. But the crew is with you. Oh last, Captain. We found no treasure here, I Here's a box. Oh fuck me. Ahoy there! Give us your supply! Or we'll blast you! We hit them, Captain! We hit them, Captain! Don't be taking me cannons! What's a pirate without his cannons? Ah! So I took his cannons, but not his food. That's very smart of me. Maybe I did take some of his food, actually. Okay, took long enough. Congratulations, sir. Just give the command, and we'll follow you on another adventure. Discover treasure in the country whose president is Nelson Mandela. Oh my god, I was so sad when he died. Wow, this is more depressing than I thought. At this rate, we'll retire on a king's salary. Discover treasure in the country that includes the island of Great Britain. I did not expect Nelson Mandela to come up. Oh shit, I need food. Okay. Oi! It's another treasure! At this rate, we'll retire on a King king's salary. salary. Uncover treasure in the country with a desert interior known as the Outback. Ah, we go in Australia. If I can make it there... Fuck! Fight back, you coward. Can I steal his food? Fuck. Fuck! Oh my god, I hate when he comes from there. Oh god, I'm dying. I can only get it from that angle, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh cool, not yet. Why from that side? I'm so irritated. Okay. Okay, still stand a chance. Oh. Apparently he gave up. He had enough of me clowning around. Why do they keep going in a diagonal angle? That's so weird. Okay. Let's just- let's just make it to Australia. Woo! More treasure! Three cheers for the captain, lads! Complete your quest, smarter than most. Rendezvous with a graveyard ghost. You must save three souls. Why are we repeating this? Alright, well that sucks. Oh well, at least we get to save Joe. So that's a plus, right? I wonder who the next kid is, and what they're gonna be. I feel like there's gonna be, like, a token robot or something. Am I crazy? I feel like there will be. It's gonna be, like, Botley. Oh shit, I was thinking about something, I'm sorry. Bobbin? How to on haunt your school, I wonder.
Why am I not concentrating? What's wrong with me? Oops, shit. No, are you fucking kidding? Oh my god, please. Thank god. Have you ever wondered if your school is haunted? Well, this is the way you can find out. Ask yourself these questions. Does my desk float broadly into the air during lunch hour? Does the school janitor have scarlet flames coming out of his ankles? Does the blackboard wobble just when I start to write the correct answer? Can I fall in a bear pit on the way to the platform? Now, the answer to all these is ugh. Your school is assisted by a jolly ghoul. Bring a peanut butter sardine to school and give the ghoul half. She will be too blindly chewing to haunt you ever again. Bet you didn't expect to see me again. Well, the Reaper's been a little busy lately, collecting souls and all. But you saved me again. You sure know your words, kid. I need a noun, there we go. Oh shit, I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I need to talk about something after I'm done with this. Because I honestly feel like I can't do much right now. Because I feel like I need to concentrate so I don't choose the wrong fucking thing, even though I do anyways. Why is Adios in there? That's so funny to me. Damn it. Do I still have another one? I feel like I do. And then I'll cry. You have just won a free pillow to my summer camp. It's neglected on the shores of shallow, like nightmare. And all the counselors are scary reptiles who will keep your hair standing straight up from the minute you arrive. Every year we assist at least six campers to the muck-sucking serpent who lives toward the bottom of the lake and comes out silently looking for reptiles. He'll sneak up on you when you're sleeping. He'll grab you with his bare tentacles. He'll polish you off. He'll make you scream weakly for help. Ugh. But no one will come. And now... We know why I call it Camp Goosebumps. Oh my god, can we move on please now? Big cats, you did it again! Look at you, an accomplished writer over here! You deserve a poster prize, I'm telling you! Now I finally get to lay me down to sleep for all eternity, if you know what I mean. Please tell me there isn't another one. I hate my life. I hate everything about it. This sucks. Sorry, I'm also like texting and messaging. I think like wine, because I'm drinking wine right now. I think wine kind of makes me a little bit more like, not tired, but it, it's... It gets me a little bit, like, calm? I don't know how to describe- Oh, fuck! No, damn it. Damn it! Why am I not paying attention? I got a text message, that's why. I hate everything, so then I was just like, Oh, text, and then I just clicked on something stupid and random. No, I promise, like, I'm paying more attention now. And I need to speak more because apparently wine and me- I'm literally just playing the game without any kind of commentary at that point. Okay, I seriously need to concentrate because I'm just- Fuck! No, damn it. That happens. Comrade, aww. Alright, I came up way too much. Flippers! Flippers! That's cute. Okay, I seriously need to pay attention now. Yeah, wine definitely slows down my brain just a little bit. 
I wonder what I'm like with the other kinds of alcohol. I should try this one of these days. Okay, hold on. Wait. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so sorry I'm being, like, boring right now. There we go, cool. It all started when Jessica's dad brought home a forbidden computer once. He even booted it up, the computer screen lit up, and its speakers muttered. Uh, echo. Do calmly what I say. Jessica's dad started to argue. Yes. The computer astonished him with flippers of paper from its printer tray, and he had to retreat. Next, the computer took over every appliance in the house. Cleverly. Jessica realized that the machine was clever, and she quickly inserted some defaunting software, and then they took it back for the carton. But some lazy people say she just moved to another computer. This one, maybe? Bet you didn't expect to see me again. Well, the Reaper's been a little busy lately, collecting souls and all. But you saved me again. You sure know your words, kid. Oh, great job. Damn, he does all kinds of sports. All right, let's see what it looks like. Football? Wait. Hmm, baseball hat. Soccer ball. Now I do believe I know the score. The Gorilla Beast is really our star athlete. Hmm, I think I have just the spell to end the monster's little game. You're out, Gorilla Monster. Go to the bench. Get off the field with your terrible stench. Go straight to the permanent penalty box. Turn in your ball, then uh, turn in your socks. Your unsportsmanlike conduct is just not allowed. The boos that you hear are from our whole crowd. You have lost your mean race, and now you must go. Three cheers for our school's favorite jock, Joe! Oh. All right. Cool. Okay. That w was not what I expected Joe to look like whatsoever. But I mean, I guess they are in fourth grade, right? So, what are you gonna do? Dear Crystal, dear Ball, don't stop till you show us all. Your face is frozen. Uh oh. Oh. Well, I guess two heads are not always better than one. Yeah. <laughs> Our poor class president, Laura. Her fate is in the cards. Pick one. I don't know what to say. Choose a card. It will tell you where your mission begins. Um, okay. Begin your trial oh. where spins like thread. The eight-legged creature, it's deadly web. You must feed three spiders. There we go. All right, let's go feed three spiders. I really need to do a, a little bit more talking, though, I realize. <laughs>